about reopening now. Governors across the tri-state have announced that on May 19th, most capacity restrictions for places like bars and restaurants will end, but the spread of the virus very much still possible. Here's what New Jersey's Governor Phil Murphy says will be a major concern. After May 19th is congregating at a bar. That's going to be the inside. That's going to be, I think, our number one compliance challenge. All right, doctor. So what do you tell folks will be headed out to the bars and restaurants after those capacity limits are lifted? I think we have trained uh, or we have been trained whole, over one year to think about social distancing, to keep our keeping ourselves safe. And I think um, what, whatever the uh, government or uh, public health department is saying, and they're saying based on the data they're looking at and right or wrong, that's the assessment and plan they are giving us. But we are responsible for our own health. We are responsible for our, our own uh, care and uh, and we are responsible to prevent this infection from getting to us and our loved ones. And for that, if I go to a crowded place, I should wear a mask. If I go to a place that is crowded, I should try to step away or make myself at least six feet from others. If I see somebody who's obviously infected, I should try to move myself away from that area. And so there are strategies that we have all learned over last one year, and we definitely need to uh, uh, keep that in mind. It is a little socially awkward, but I think if we need to continue to do that. Uh, some, some of the pictures you're showing right now, people are unmasked and they're together. If they're all vaccinated, that's great. Uh, but then there are some people who are also stay wearing masks in the same area. And that's an important thing to think about is everybody is responsible for their own health care. And we need to protect ourselves and others wearing our mask and keeping our distance. You mentioned socially awkward. I met someone new today. Neither one of us extended our hand for a handshake. We're not there yet. At least I'm not, and he wasn't either. Doctor, what about going to other places, though, like stores, hair salons? Which would we doing, be doing things different there in the coming months? Yeah. So uh, for hair salons and all that, I've been wearing my masks. Otherwise, my hair would be much longer, and I would look a little slightly different. <laughs> so, so, yeah, so I... I but like if they're cutting hair, they'll take the mask off and I'll put it back immediately. If it's less than 10 minutes, less than uh, five minutes, it's pr pretty much no harm, no foul in that situation. You're, you're really not risking a lot. Obviously, if somebody is obviously infected, that's a problem. I do ask other people if they want to share about their vaccination status, that gives me more comfort. So if they're vaccinated, I'm getting hair cut from them. I'm a little bit more comfortable. And uh, then and the nail salon, similar situations in those is that you need to make sure that you keep your way uh, wearing your mask and uh, try to limit your visit if you can or make sure that uh, whoever you're interacting with are uh, also practicing safe, uh, uh, safe social distancing. That's all.